Hey there, it's Seb Fry here with another exciting episode of Seb Fry TV coming at you from my mobile studio, aka my car. And uh, today I wanted to talk about something which is actually pretty important and it's a distinction which a lot of people aren't really even aware that exists. And uh, what it is, is the distinction or the difference uh, between price and value. Now, a lot of times people uh, use the words price and value interchangeably, right? Like, uh, I want a home value report or I want a home price report or uh, how high are real estate values in your area or how high are home prices in your area, right? So value and price, what's the difference between the two? So value is um, something that's not very concrete. It's like how much worth like, oh, how important is certain things to uh, some people than to other people? So, for example, uh, it could be that in uh, your neighborhood, uh, people have a, a great amount of value they ascribe to having a swimming pool, right? And it could be in some areas, uh, like Alaska, for example, where swimming pools really have very little value because people don't want swimming pools. In fact, it might even have a negative value. Uh, here's another question is, um, how much do people in your area value a two-car attached garage? garage versus a two-car detached garage? Or how much do people value a large flat lot uh, versus a lot that might be on a hillside but has a great view, right? So there's different um, characteristics of homes that uh, have different values to different people. Um, so the big question is, is how does value translate into price? So what price is, price is an expression in dollars of how much somebody values a property, okay? So the name of the game when it comes to uh, figuring out uh, how much uh, a home might be uh, selling for, like what its price might be, is you have to have a sense for how much the buyers where your home is located, uh, or at least who will be shopping for homes where your home is located, uh, how much they value and how much a price they would be willing to ascribe to certain aspects of your home, right? So it could be the two-car detached garage. It could be a view. It could be a swimming pool. It could be condition. Uh, it could be uh, upgrades, granite counters versus uh, tile counters, for example. Uh, everybody has different things that uh, matter to them. Uh, but as a real estate professional or as an appraiser, you have a sense for what the amount of value buyers uh, see in a property will translate into the price that they offer for it. Of course, now, uh, not everybody is a multi-gazillionaire and, and so they can offer any price, right? There's always going to be the fact that people are going to be means limited. So you need to know uh, what people who are in this market segment, how much those particular people uh, would be ascribing uh, to the value of that property translated into dollars, the price. So that is the difference between price and value. And my belief is that in order to get the highest price for your property, you really need to highlight the maximum value that you can for your uh, most likely buyer for your home in your market segment. And that is really the art, is knowing what people value in property and accentuating that value and sort of like diminishing the importance of things which have a negative value connotation, which could be uh, road noise or uh, deferred maintenance or, uh, you know, uh, proximity to a sewage treatment plant or something like that, right? So uh, that's the difference of price versus value. And if you want to drive a high price for your home, you want to accentuate the value, make it easier for people to see the value in the things which you think are going to be most important to them and diminish those things which have a negative value connotation for buyers. All right, that is it for this episode of Sebify TV. I hope you enjoyed it and do me a favor. Would you please share this with everyone that you know, love, uh, and who might be interested in learning more about uh, real estate here in our market. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll have another episode up for you real soon.